Hey Scavers, this is Imp from Black Talon Gaming and I want to welcome you to yet another top 5 list for Fallout 4. Today's list is top 5 settlement mods, most of them found from Nexus. Not that I've really got anything against Bethesda's site, but I use Nexus primarily because I use Nexus Mod Manager. If you think you have a mod from the Beth site that is just like deserves to be on this list or deserves to be on any other list that I've got, uh, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment. Me, uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment on the video. Anyhow, before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and just give you a couple of notes. All but one of these, um, all but one of these mods actually add new settlement locations, and by that I mean either they add totally new locations or open up locations that were previously not settlements. I think that's a, a, a big thing to uh, separate is that you know there are some there are some settlement mods that either change the existing way a settlement is or works and then there are settlement mods that add a uh, whole new settlements that weren't accessible beforehand and of the four that add whole new settlements uh let's see one two yeah of the four uh, of the four that L add hold new settlement locations, two of them are vanilla locations in game that uh, just were not settlements. I don't know what Bethesda's uh, internal memo or internal policy was when they developed the settlements. It just kind of seems like whenever I'm looking around the map, whether it's um, Nuka World or whether it's Far Harbor, whether it's the vanilla Commonwealth map. It seems like there was a lot of locations that were potential settlements that were designed to be such and then maybe there was like a, a last minute decision by game development to make only so many settlements uh, per uh, content pack so per DLC or per the main game but anyway we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and dig right in let's go ahead and get started so uh, Alright guys, to start off my list, I've got a settlement here by Mods1984, which is Fiddler's Green. Fiddler's Green is, of course, a vanilla location in Fallout 4. Uh, Mods1984 is known for his mods, which takes some of the vanilla locations that look like they should have been settlements, and he goes ahead and turns them into settlements. But unlike other authors, he does a really detailed job and makes sure, you know, he goes through it kind of like with a you know, a lot of play testing, I imagine, and just make sure that everything in the area that would be legitimately scrappable, he makes sure that everything is scrappable. Um, he adjusts some things so that you have better placement, and of course, he'll he'll set the borders. So it's not like he's just dropping a, a green square down on the landscape, um, because I've seen other mods that will mod other locations he's picked, and nothing will be scrappable. So he does a lot of work to ensure that the uh, mod locations he picks are actually usable. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Fiddler's Green. So pretty much you've got this hilltop uh, trailer park. You've got a trailer park here and pretty much everything in the immediate surroundings of the trailer park and the hilltop is in the settlement. It doesn't go much further down the hilltop than this so it's it's mostly all centered around this trailer park uh, most of the accoutrement and small little things like the tires and the bathtubs and everything like that everything pretty much everything is scrappable however the actual um, the actual trailers themselves are not so you will have to incorporate those into your build here at this settlement and I think that makes for a unique and interesting challenge when you first arrive here, of course, you have to, you still have to unlock this area by, of course, murdering a bunch of ghouls. They may or may not have been sentient when I murdered them. I don't ever ask, because they're assholes. Anyhow, no, I'm just joking. They're, you know, just a bunch of fair ghouls here, and there's always, 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 keep your eyes open, there's always a, um, a feral one in here. One of the really cool things is that there is a tar berries. Yep, so there's tar berries and they respawn here. I'm drinking dirty water. That is awesome because there was a dead body in here. 
So yeah, you got tar berries that you can harvest straight out of the pool, which is really cool. You could also drop a uh, water purifier there. I don't think you really have enough room to, you know, turn it into like a little business or whatever, but definitely enough, more than enough to sustain a settlement. Uh, I don't know if that would affect the tarberry spawn or whatever, you can play around with that. Anyhow, this is uh, Fiddler's Green by Mods 1984. All right, so number four on my list is Hangman's Alley Interior Apartments by Purple Radiation. So this is the one mod that I told you that doesn't actually add a new settlement area. It modifies an existing settlement area. So me and June, we're going to go inside and show you what it's all about. All right, so I've already started a settlement here. As you can see, I've got uh, quite a few settlers bunkered up here. Long story short is if we go inside, we can see that the uh, the settlement adds some buildings, and each of the buildings has different floors, and the rooms start out uh, fairly empty, you know what I'm saying? And then you can add more stuff to them. It's pretty good. I, if I did have any advice for the mod maker, it would be, you know, maybe it would be cool to have some, like, decrepit furniture or something. At least at least some scrappable junk that we could you know because right now it makes it look like okay you know like did they just complete these buildings as the great war you know started or whatever like what the hell happened you know but uh like the actual design of the the buildings like the floor layout oh, damn here we go cool. oh. oh i'm gonna be sick i use a lot of <laughs> i've got custom flags figure these are Irish socialists so, uh, from Boston <laughs> but yeah the actual the actual layout of the different floors is pretty cool I tried to subdivide this one into like little rooms or whatever it's not not going too well there's even a balconette up there for the master bedroom or the top suite and that's where I placed my recruitment beacon for this settlement it's pretty awesome. But once again, it's a, a doesn't seem like much, and I'm not sure how how much effort it would take to create a mod like this. I, I would just add that you know, ask that maybe the uh, settlement uh, the mod author take a look at maybe adding some scrappable junk just to add that level of believability, uh, because it's it's little tiny little things like that which really will like get your mod endorsed and get it put up there or whatnot um maybe even like adding like freaking letter you know just little things like that will make a huge difference but yeah so that's it that's that's number three let's go ahead and go on excuse me that's number four all right guys so number three on my list is duncan's den if you've watched a couple of my other videos you know i've uh, featured this mod prominently. I really like it. I really like the voice acting. I really like the uh, location design. So, you know, there, there's a lot to enjoy about this mod, and I definitely recommend that you pick it up. Anyhow, so it's uh, Duncan's Den. The mod author is Anira Tono, or at least that's their modern name. And let's go ahead and take a look around. Um, by the way, I've already started constructing a lot of different stuff. If you've seen my other videos, you know I've uh, I've got a, a death claw park down here. Um, but when you first get this mod, this is just like wilderness. There's a bunch of dead trees. There's a whole bunch of trash in the lake and stuff like that. There's a bunch of tar berries. Um, the only thing that's really here that's developed is this one house where the uh, main person who lives here, June Duncan... She, she has her own farm out here, and she has a whole bunch of dogs that she lives with. What's really awesome about this mod is not only is it a, is it a settlement location, but it comes with a new follower who is June Duncan. And here we have June's sexy hey. ass. Go on, man. Yeah, June, Head over you there. go over there. You betcha. Look at that. I don't want to see you go, but I love to watch you run away. All right. But anyways, yeah, this mod comes with uh, June. 
<laughs> she call me if you need me. I'm down here in the valley. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's it's really cool when mods add a little bit something extra like that. When, whenever I'm downloading a mod, I always look for something that adds a little bit uh, a little bit of pizzazz. It has to be exceptionally beautiful or maybe adds a new follower or something like that. And, um... Yeah, so Duncan's Den really does it for me. It's a, a great mod position. If we take a look uh, right now at the location, it's over here uh, near the Nuka World Transit Center, which I haven't revealed yet because I'm not going to get slaughtered yet. Really close to the Federal Ration Stockpile. If we take a look at the settlement borders themselves, we see that the settlement goes from this uh, house on the hill here all the way down, 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 in a burning fire, uh, high, high, and the flames got high, or whatever. And that ring of fire. Okay, so yeah, you can see that. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I had a death claw. Oh, there he is. There's my death claw, buddy. He's, uh, he's, he's my awesome friend. Anyhow, so you can see that the settlement area goes down uh, and pretty much kind of ends at this cliff. You don't have a lot of control of anything down the cliff or whatever. You've got this truck. You can't remove the truck. It goes all the way over here. Totally encompasses that lake. And then right about there is where the settlement line is. Got a lot of... See, there's even, uh, like, it even goes a little further than what we're given. Yeah, see, that settlement line is not entirely accurate because I can go a little bit beyond it. Uh, but, yeah, so you've got, you've got a bunch of water here if you're into the purifier thing. Right now I've got two settlements running, like, mega purifiers, so um, I'm not too concerned about really turning this place out. But, yeah, so you've got, like, a lot of space to work with. It's a lot of fun comes with a companion great mod great mod i recommend to download immediately if you have not already uh, let's go ahead and exit out let's exit out and go to our next settlement mod right so for the number two spot on my top five list I've got the Evans Way Settlement by, yet again, Mods 1984. If you're at all familiar, Mods 1984 has about, um, I would say, a dozen or so settlements that are pretty much just like this. He takes vanilla places in the game, places that look like they should have been settlements, and he goes ahead and converts them uh, to settlements. He then takes a, a, a fine-tooth comb, picks over the settlements, and makes sure, you know, he, he makes sure that uh, things that should have been scrappable are, are scrappable, you know, in his settlements and stuff like that. So it's, they're very workable. They're, honestly, you know, there's a lot of space in a lot of them and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's good stuff and, it, and it's a lot of fun. And I kind of put this one here to kind of be a placeholder for the rest of his mods because he has so many. And if at all interested... Uh, you can get the whole package, which is all of the settlements, all wrapped up into one mod download and his uh, Settle Mods uh, mod package. But yeah, so this is Evans Way, and Evans Way is just south of Diamond City. Uh, sort of south of that area where the uh, mongrel hounds are living in the junkyard and stuff like that. Just south of that area. And there's a lot of space to build. Um, it's right next to, and it's usable in conjunction with uh, one of the Red Rocket safe houses. I've chosen not to include Red Rocket safe houses in this uh, in this top five list, even though it it certainly does like belong or whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna cover those in another uh, another video. Anyhow, so that's that's it, and that's Evans Way and Subtle Mods. Go ahead and check them out by Mods 1984 if you get the chance. All right, guys. So for number one on my list, I've got 
Sanctuary Hot Springs, a uh, settlement and home by Mater Sympathy. Sympathy, not sympathy, sympathy. Anyhow, so this is a cool, uh, <clears throat> a cool, I'm not quite sure how lore friendly it is or what have you, considering, well, you, well you'll, you'll see it here in a second. But this is a, a, a really cool mod that I discovered on the Nexus. So it's right off the path from Sanctuary itself. And we go down here. <clears throat> Mind you, most of this, especially this uh, boardwalk, is I built this boardwalk here. So keep that in mind. Normally, it would just have this kind of concrete uh, waterway type thing. And right over Hi, here, you? right over here, you've got a, a hot springs area that you can take oh. your companions to and chill out. You've got extensive space <clears throat> over the nearby lake itself so that you could use that for... Me, personally, I'm going to use it for um, more water farms and stuff like that. This place is going to be producing water just like Sanctuary is, so I can just have 100,000 caps at any one given time. The settlement is on the outside. It, you know, you can... Like, right now, I've got four people living here. I think any more than that would really stress it in terms of how much space there is. Because really the space available is like, most of it is water right out there. There's a little bit on the other side of that fence and then up here and it goes right out to here. So like I barely have enough space for a, you know, a farm. One of the interesting things I did discover when I was making this and I'm not sure if the robots at Grey Gardens follow this rule. Okay, typically speaking, a... Uh, a human will produce like six food. Let's let's see here. Wait, let me just step inside my step inside my. Oh no, I, I think it's a human produces four. Like a a human a, a single human can either produce three or four units worth of food. However, this robot, this single robot, is able to. This unit is. This single robot is able to harvest all of these corn, uh, all these all these corn plants, corn stalks, whatever. He's able to take care of all of them, and he alone produces six food. So, you know, just a, a rough calculation using robots as your farmers, seems it seems to be well. that they are doubly as productive. However, robots come with that kind of secondary thing in that a... Robots happiness is always 50 as a result your settlements happiness will trend towards 50 the vast majority of the time And this can affect things like I need to assign someone to this This will affect things like income from stores and stuff like that. So I mean, it's kind of like a double-edged swords, you know I, I guess the the best thing you could possibly do is have a settlement full of robots only So that the robots like there's nobody there's no negative benefit. There's no negative drawback you know, there's no stores that are getting affected by the robots' 50 happiness. And then use the robots to really just turn out the food and export it all over your, your commonwealth to all your settlements. So that's kind of what I did here, is I have one robot who's manning the, uh, the farm. I've got a settler who's a guard, and then I've got a settler who's a bartender. I'm going to be putting some uh, water farms down here. Um, but really this is kind of like my R&R &R spot for my character. I come here to relax and get a drink, you know. And uh, what's really cool is there's a player home attached. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Once again, I'm going to try not to ramble on too much because uh, I've been told in comments section, dude, you need to, you need to go from one point to the next. All right, so... Long story short, there is an awesome player home in here. It comes with all the amenities you've got. Everything is placed really well, and one of the cool things is, is you know, none of this is decoration. Like everything in here can just be picked up and used and what have you. Um, you've got like a the left wing is where you have your living quarters and living space and stuff like that. Out front, you have a, a pool table as well as I, I guess you could. You know, this is where you would meet up with people. And, uh... 
I've never noticed this before. Uh, whatever. I don't know if that's a, a different way people play pool somewhere. Um, comes with a power armor frame. That's always pretty nice. And then there's pieces of T-51 laying around, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a couple workshops and stuff like that. A whole bunch of junk back here. Overall, it's a really good, really good player home. In the back, there's not much more. There's a uh, bath area right back here. Bath area doesn't do anything special. I've got the um, the working showers and toilets mod or whatever, so I might put a shower back there. That's why one of the reasons if you ever at, if you're ever wondering like why is my character always looking dirty, it's because I haven't taken a shower in a long time, and uh, so your character will get dirty. But whenever you take a fresh shower, it uh, with that mod on, it gives you a debuff towards getting diseases and. You also get a charisma bonus, which, you know, I thought was pretty cool, so. But, yeah, so the inside is, and I, I really love this aesthetic, like this flowing water with the energy generators and everything like that. It Like, it really looks cool, man. Just really, really dope. But, yeah, so that that's it. That's my number one mod. And I would say, in terms of what really made this, if you're, if you're a modder yourself, what really made this the sales point like what struck this stuck this at number one was not just the settlement but the inclusion of an interior and the interior was really well thought out well laid out i i can tell that the modder put a lot of time into arranging everything like even just looking at how the pool is arranged like the modder put a lot of time and effort into this and i i really appreciate it you know I haven't actually used this. Maybe I've slept here like once or twice. Uh, but I do plan to come back in here and really organize things. I try not to come down here too often because my dogs will mess everything up. But, uh, yeah, if you're if you're a modder, just, you know... I, I Like, yeah, giving me a blank space to work with in terms of um, mod number three, which was Hangman's Alley Interior Apartments... Like, giving a blank space there, like, that's cool, yeah, but uh, when you add this extra accoutrement, when you add the decoration, or even better, if you add a companion, or God forbid, a quest line, that will make it stand out so much more. Like, I will remember that settlement because I had to do something to earn it, you know what I'm saying? Whereas if it's, you know, if it's just there and it's there, then, you know, yeah, I, I might use it and I might like it or whatever, but it's not going to really stand out. Anyhow, I, I only hope that, uh, you know, the mods and the settlements just get better from here on out. If you have any ideas, if you have other mods that you like, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to check them out, especially if they're from the Beth website, because I honestly, honest to God, I don't ever go there, like, unless I hear someone specifically telling me, hey, go there to check out this mod or what have you. Anyhow, I want to thank you for watching this in its entirety. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, yeah, have an awesome time. I'll see y'all uh, next week. Peace.